Hey guys, it's Aaron. Uh, I've been meaning to do a review video for some time. Uh, just don't want you guys to worry that I'm not doing that. As some of you may know that have been following me, uh, I have tried doing reviews before and that whole thing kind of petered out. But don't worry, I'm just really upset with my video editor right now. I know it'll look a little bit grungy too, but don't worry about that. Uh, but I just, I happened to go to uh, GameStop today to uh, go peruse the game selection. And well, I just happened to come in on the day that LEGO Dimensions has released. Just by chance. I totally forgot that it was coming out today because I didn't plan on buying it. And then I found out even Wii U supports this. So yeah, that's awesome. And I thought, you know, why not? Uh, now to be perfectly honest, I haven't bought the uh, board set whatever you there's a technical name for it but the the stand that you put your pieces on um i'm not really into any of these toys to life i think a lot of them are kind of a scam um well maybe scams a bit hard but you know it's it's obviously a money grab and it, it's a way to uh to get more money by always releasing these new sets but here i am being mr hypocrite by buying one but it's Lego, so it was a lot harder to resist. And I won't be buying any of the other ones, so, you know, just Lego. I love Lego. And, well, yeah, I guess I'm a bit too weak-willed for my own good. But anyways, uh, I know some people, they like to do unboxing. So I thought, what the heck? Why don't I just go ahead and I'll try one? Let's see how terrible I can do things, right? So here we are. I've never done an unboxing before, so uh, don't know how well this is going to go. If it's terrible, hey, let me know. Comments, you know. Wanna get better? Yeah. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound terrible. But at least, you know, you won't see my terrible video quality face. That's just part of the anger towards the video editor talking. What we got right here is a fun pack for LEGO Dimensions. It has Gollum and it has Shelob the Great. Now Gollum is a character and Shelob the Great technically is a vehicle. Yes, that is a little bit strange, but that's just how it works. Now, most of these fun packs, uh, they have one character and they have one vehicle. And I shouldn't say most of these, all of these fun packs, there's actually three different kinds of packs. There's fun packs with just the character and the vehicle. And if you look here on the back, you, they actually show different ways right here that you can make changes to Shelob as a uh, vehicle, and they actually show Gollum riding her in these two right here. But um, yeah, so this is a fun pack. There are also uh, packs known as team packs, and there are level packs. Now team packs have one character and two vehicles, at least all the ones that I saw at GameStop do. And then there are level packs, which those are the ones that if you're going to buy any, you should probably really should buy those. They have three right now. They have a Portal 2 team pack, a Simpsons team pack, and they have a Back to the Future team pack. Um, and I just called all of those team packs, but they are level packs. The three things I just talked to you about are level packs. They are just like a team pack, except that they actually unlock another level on your basic starter kit. And that's another thing for your starter kit. It's gonna cost you a hundred dollars and it is supported on any of the three consoles. It may also be supported on PC. I just don't know off the top of my head as of right now. I don't see why not. And I plan on getting all of these things, but I'm a little broke right now, so I don't even have the starter kit. So we just have this lovely set right here and you know, it was kind of hard to make up my mind, but I figured I might as well go with Lord of the Rings. Oh, and another thing for all you Doctor Who fans, there are going to be Doctor Who figurines. That's going to be coming out in their third release. They release figures at certain set dates. I don't know them off the top of my head, but there was a uh, Kotaku article that I found to be quite interesting. So I'll make sure to link that in the description box below. But anyways, let's get started with opening this up. So as you can see, uh, we have tape on the sides right here. I wish I had a knife on me right now. I'm probably making this more difficult than this has to be. The one real nice thing, at least from what I hear compared to, uh, great, hit the camera, real professional, Aaron. Um, one thing that I hear that is good, that is different 
from say Skylanders or the Amiibos is these are still Lego pieces. They are not, I mean, looky there. See, we got it. It looks just like a normal Lego set. We even have, this is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, we even have a Lego instruction book. How about that? This looks very familiar. I haven't bought a Lego set in a long time. And I mean, technically, this isn't um, a proper Lego set. But, oh man, I wish I would open this earlier. It has everything. Um, here are the team packs I was talking about. And look there, stand corrected. There's two figurines and two vehicles. So they have one for Jurassic World, Scooby-Doo, and Ninjago. Then we have our level packs, which is Back to the Future, The Simpsons, Doctor Who, and Portal 2. Now, of course, Doctor Who isn't out yet, and I didn't see the Ninjago one either, um, but those are going to be coming out later. Then we have a bunch of fun packs here. We have Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson wasn't there today. Uh, we have, um, oh, I can't believe I forgot his name, uh, Emmett. It would be figuring that I forget Emmett's name, right? Emmett from Lego Movie. We have Bad Cop from Lego Movie. We have Benny from Lego Movie. Definitely going to get those. Then we have some Ninjago characters. I'm not into Ninjago, so I have no idea what their names are. Uh, and then we see we have Gollum here, Legolas and Gimli. Yes, all those are on the top of my list. We have the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz, which I thought was really awesome. Then we have some Chimera guys, three of them right here. Again, not into Chimera, so don't know their names. Then it looks we have, um, can't remember his name, but the clown guy from The Simpsons right there. And then we have Unikitty. So, yeah, definitely on the top of my list, definitely the uh, Lord of the Rings and the Lego Movie characters. Although I am pretty excited by the DC comic characters and also the Wizard of Oz. I thought that was pretty cool. I wonder if they're going to do more characters for them. Um, now, there really isn't a whole bunch of instructions they just have it for Gollum uh, and part of that is to uh, encourage you to play the game so I guess this really does suck for unboxing but because uh, I can't show you how to put Shelob together because as it says right here it says continue building using the in-game building instructions not destructions instructions great now I can't speak English they kind of have a diagram right here of how you put the characters on the pedestal stand whatever you want to call it and obviously by putting Gollum on there, um, that's how you would be able to access Shelob. And you would be able to access these things within the game. As I've said before, I haven't done any of these toys to life before. Um, so I don't know how well they work. Let's see if I can... okay. Forgotten how hard it is to open a Lego bag, so I'll just use a pen right here. Real professional. Need to buy some scissors. But, ah, yes. The lovely sound of Legos. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, and then if nothing else, it gives me an excuse to play with Legos again. So that's definitely worth it. Now, of course, these are pricey. Uh, these were $14.99 at GameStop. And to get any of these new... I mean, they're going to cost that new anywhere, even Walmart. So, we got Gollum all by his self. But, um, yeah, definitely we'll be linking to that Kotaku. Because they kind of give you a guide as to which ones you need right away. If you were going to go buy the whole thing, uh, the whole shebang, I think they say, costs $495, which is a pretty penny. Very pretty penny. Let's get him on the stand. Kind of find it. Well, oh, there you go, right there. That's what you're paying for, is that chip right on this stand right here. And uh, pretty simple looking. Looks like just like any other little Lego piece. Pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, I should probably be focusing on the camera and not other stuff. Let's see, let's find his arms. So I guess we're just gonna put him together. And at least this gives me an excuse to play with Legos again, right? Which one is which? Okay, they're exactly the same. So even a bozo like me should be able to figure this one out. And then 
Where's his fish? Where's the fish, precious? There we go. His only wish is to catch a fish. So juicy, sweet. Yeah, I know. I freak people out like that. So here we go. We got Gollum. Yeah, for my first. Let's get you in some better light. Oh, that stupid fish is in your way, poor Gollum. But, um. So yeah, there's Gollum. Nice little wispy hair there. And that's my first. Oh, great. Break his arm. That's my first foray into this with Lego Dimensions. Um, definitely go check out the Kotaku article. Like I said, I'll have it linked in the description below. Um, I'll try to see if I can figure out how to put these pieces together just from the box. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Gives me an excuse to play with Legos, collect some minifigures. Of course, this is, it's expensive, but as people complain anyways, Legos are already expensive. So, I mean, I guess you can play them in a game now, and that's pretty cool. And Telltale Games knows how to, they know how to make good games, at least when it comes to Legos. So yeah, I'm excited. Uh, can't wait to save up to actually buy the pat platform and check all of this out. Hey, looky there. Looks like there's another one. I'm guessing that's probably for Shelob there. But uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this out. It's probably going to be a little bit of a while until I buy the stand proper. It's 100 bucks, a little strapped for cash right now. That's why I only got this. That concludes my first unboxing. And as with all things, I will do my best to get better. And be sure to like and subscribe if you feel like it. But most importantly, give me comments. Tell me how I can improve. Give me more ideas. There will be a review coming out soon. I'm going to try to do a review for Metal Slug, the anthology. That's what I was working on and becoming very frustrated with the pictures I had downloaded. Absolute terrible, terrible quality pictures. I mean, they weren't that way when I downloaded them, but heh. You don't want to listen to me ramble. So, I'm going to go party with my best friend, Smeagol, right here, next to me, precious. And if you have any other ideas, yeah, let me know. You have a great day. And remember, what we create matters, even if we're unboxing little Lego figures that aren't actually Lego figures. They're, you know, things that we put on a stand, and they appear. TV. Don't look at me, cause I'm not worth saving. I'm a disease, I'm slightly crazy. Better fall for a picture bigger than I'll ever understand.